it's a lot of us parents and you know as a parent it's it's very scary because it's, you don't know where to go and you don't know what to do hundreds of thousands of people facing eviction that's the harsh reality right here in louisiana thanks to the coronavirus pandemic but president trump has signed a new executive order that could halt evictions for the rest of the year so how do people at risk of losing their homes or apartments feel about this news? WDSU's Morgan Lentis is live uptown to answer that question. Morgan. Yeah, so Travers, a lot of people tell me that this pandemic has put them in a position they never thought they would be in. I talked to a single mom earlier today who recently was laid off after first having her hours cut at work, and that forced Ruth Bermudez to fall behind about $3,000 on rent. Now, she worked with Southeast Louisiana Legal Services to stay in her apartment, but she says she still worries what the future will hold. She is thankful, however, that under the new executive order, the CDC has authority to halt evictions during the coronavirus pandemic. The bills are piling up more and more, and it's like, who do I reach out to? You know, who do I, how do I, how can I get this help? And what, what will the future look like for me and my daughter? Now, it's important to note that that executive order only delays the payment of rent due during the pandemic. That means tenants would owe that money when evictions are finally allowed again. Reporting live in New Orleans, I'm Morgan Lentis, WDSU News.